So you're ready to sell your home, and you've decided to list it for sale by owner. Now comes a big challenge, pricing your home properly. Aim too high, and it'll sit on the market. Shoot too low, and you leave money on the table. Unfortunately, there are a lot of half-truths floating around in regards to pricing a home. So, let's tackle five FSBO pricing myths and explain why you should use a more reliable valuation method. Let's start with an old standby. Before the internet, readily accessible assessing roles and other more advanced methods, folks would just ask their neighbors what nearby house is sold for. At a gut level, this makes sense. Shouldn't your house sell at about the same price? The problem is, your neighbors and friends may be working from incorrect or incomplete information. Now, don't get us wrong, this is a good place to start. But, Perhaps one of the people on the street fudged their value upward to make it seem like they got a better deal. Maybe they said they had four bedrooms when one was really a dining room and the other was a non-conforming basement room. Or they may just be repeating second or third head information without any real verification. If you're going to start by polling your neighbors, make sure to double check your information. Second myth is to just base it on an old appraisal. Uh, did you refinance last year or get a second mortgage? Uh, maybe you had an appraisal to remove PMI from your house or something like that. Either way, this old number should be pretty close, right? Unfortunately, markets can change quickly. Many things can happen to a home, neighborhood, or a submarket that affect the price. If you're in a generally rising or a falling market, it can be really hard to properly gauge this change. If you've made improvements to the property, it can be difficult to judge their value. A current pre-listing appraisal will give you a much better idea of your home's current status. The third myth is to just use the assessor's number. If you own property, you know the joy of property taxes. Each year you get an updated house value from your local assessor for tax purposes. While local assessors generally do a good job, their methodology is fairly different than what a normal in-home fee appraiser uses. Tax assessors use mass appraisal methods, which typically use a large number of sales in a given geographic area. They then apply the results across the board, which determines the taxable value for your home. However, they do not gather detailed information about individual houses. It would be impractical for them to do so, considering the high volume of homes they consider. Assessors typically don't walk through individual houses or complete in-depth comparisons to competing properties. As a result, the results are unlikely to be as accurate as an appraisal done specifically for your home. While they might be in the ballpark, you shouldn't trust their number as gospel. Fourth myth is a popular one. Just base it on an online valuation. <laughs> Many websites are happy to provide you with a value for your house. It's quick, it's easy, and it's usually free. However, there are numerous issues with these numbers. Quality analysis relies on quality data, and in most cases these online tools just don't have it. They rely on inaccurate square footage, fail to account for major differences between properties, and have trouble accurately gauging buyer behavior. Their estimates can either be high or low and are often incorrect by tens of thousands of dollars or more. When pricing your home or setting expectations, do not use an online valuation tool and expect credible results. They are not reliable and can cause many headaches down the road. Finally, our fifth myth is just pricing your home based on the cost of improvements. This is a tough one for people. If you're like most homeowners, you've probably made improvements to your home over time. It could be as simple as a fresh coat of paint or a new light fixture. It could be as complex as a full rehab, a finished basement install, or a new in-ground pool. Unfortunately, the cost of improvements does not always add up to a similar increase in value. Pole barns and pools are classic examples. These are big, expensive improvements to a property. However, they rarely return your investment on a dollar-for-dollar -dollar basis. Other upgrades are similar. It can be very difficult to put a lot of money in your house and not get it back on resale. This is hard. 
Unfortunately, prices are determined by the market, not by cost. If you price your home based on the cost of your improvements, you may be well out of market range. It doesn't seem fair. But the best way to determine a likely market value for your home is a detailed analysis based on scientific methods. Pricing your home when selling for sale by owner is no walk in the park. A lot of the myths surrounding pricing can lead you astray and really derail your efforts. A pre-listing appraisal by a qualified local appraiser will get you the most credible results since it is tailored to your specific property. However, if you choose to go a different way, make sure you are very careful about your source information. You don't want your house to sit on the market and you don't want to leave money on the table. For more questions about appraisals or to order one for your property, contact us at 616-826-2255 or click on the link below. We are happy to help.